I know, I know. It's called Outdoor Nevada. And we're outdoors all the time. But here at the Springs Preserve, just outside of Las Vegas, outdoors and indoors combine to make one very smart house. Come on, let's take a look. Sometimes preserving the outdoors starts indoors. That's the case with a very smart house built by very smart students. This is Aaron McAuliffe, and he is the curator of exhibits here. And Aaron, tell me about this fascinating structure. Sure. Uh, in 2013, University of Nevada, Las Vegas competed in the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon competition. It's a competition that the federal government has every other year that invites schools from around the world to create a home that is very sustainable, in this case off the grid or using solar energy, one that's very, very marketable and desirable to consumers. So we're not talking about just a few solar panels. I mean, they really thought this through. They really did. Um, everything is off the grid. So for example, the home itself produces energy by solar panels on the roof. It has a series of other panels that take the energy from the sun to warm water that could be used for the radiant floor heating. Uh, for the winter time to keep you warm, and they're also for the uh, washing and uh, you know the laundering that you would need to do in a home. Okay, I, I, I got to see this. Will you show me around? Sure. Oh, no this problem. is the coolest. Let's go. More than 60 UNLV students, 20 faculty, and industry consultants designed this home. Students served as general contractors, framers, and engineers. Let's start with the outside. Tell me about that. Sure, the exterior of the home was made from reclaimed snow fence, so basically fence that was used along the side of the road to catch snow drifts. Um, over time, you know, the rancher might need to replace that, so it was basically left over for that purpose and uh, recut for the purposes of this home and put on the exterior. How long did it take them to design and build the house? At least a couple years. Uh, and then from the t after the competition, we probably looked at about uh, six months or so uh, to prepare it to be permanently installed here at the Springs Preserve. Wow, this is really stylish. This wasn't really what I was expecting at all from the outside. This is amazing. Yeah, it, it's a really contemporary home. They did a really nice job of using the kind of interiors that I think a lot of people prefer in their homes today. And they also use a combination of other less traditional items. So for example, the kitchen table there is also made from the same materials as the reclaimed snow fence. It was just a little bit left over and uh, the, the benches from the snow fence, the table as well. The kitchen almost has a Jetsons feel or a futuristic yet retro feel at the same time. Yeah, it's very, very contemporary. It's the kind of home that you might see maybe in a mid-century modern home that was de uh, designed in the 1950s and 60s here in the desert southwest. Approximately 40% of the energy consumed in the U.S. goes to powering commercial buildings and homes. This 750 square foot home serves as a display to change the way we see and utilize our resources. What would be the purpose of owning a home if this were mass produced like this? It, your bills are lower, less use on the environment? Absolutely. And in fact, UNLV created this home as a home that could be marketed towards people looking for a second home. Um, personally, for me, it's large enough for a primary <laughs> home uh, for, for my needs. But for someone who might want a second home, they basically created it in such a way with the idea that you could move it to wherever you are in the desert southwest. So to that end, the home itself is built on two chassis. So I like to think of it as an early form of a mobile home. And then right in the middle of the home, just right by the bathroom, the two chassis are joined. And then after the home is moved, the decking is put on, the window boxes are put on, and we have the home that we're in today. Desert Soul works as a prototype, completely off the grid, which means it doesn't depend on any public utilities. I think we are looking at the future with mass-produced homes, particularly the homes that uh, could have a very basic platform and then are customized by an individual homeowner. If you were to go to a mobile home supplier, you would get the basic home and of course you're adding on all the various different options. Same idea here. You know, this home doesn't um, look like uh, you know your typical mobile home, but there's also a movement to take old shipping containers and turn those into custom contemporary homes. And those are very, very exciting as well. Does it come with a mailbox? Uh, does it come? Uh, no, but I'm sure if you if you were to purchase a home, you could probably talk the uh, builder into making you a mailbox. Do they have a price if this was to be produced, what this house would go for? Sure, as far as I know, UNLV is still running the numbers on that. Last I heard, they felt that this home could fit in the maybe 
$300,000, $350,000 price point. But that's this particular home, which is the prototype. So as you start mass producing them, the prices will start to plummet. Tell me about the windows and their design and purpose. Sure, basically the windows are all dual pane windows, which is something that I hope everybody has at home anyway. A dual pane window is gonna keep the heat inside during the cold months and the cold inside during the hot months. Obviously, if you move the house somewhere, water is gonna be an issue depending on where you go. The sun, however, is available to everyone, right? And that's one of the benefits of having this home. That's correct. So you could basically have this home, uh, create your own energy with certain modifications to be self-sufficient. Um, other ways that you can hook it up to the grid and feed into the grid and perhaps uh, make some money back. Super cool. Let's look at the rest. I want to see the bedroom. Sure. Solar energy is the only fuel source. The house also features low flow fixtures and an outdoor deck screen that filters the sun in the summer. I hope we're looking at the future because this just has a feeling like we're going in the right direction. This is good for the environment. It's certainly good for the pocketbook. So Aaron, thank you so much for letting me peek down the road and see what things might be like uh, in the future a little bit in housing. Thank you so much. And you're welcome. Thanks for coming out today. Desert Soul was designed to be an extension of the Mojave Desert, and it represents a new way of how mankind interacts with its own environment. It's nature and science combined for a better and more sustainable future. Who knows what the future holds, but thanks to some really smart students at UNLV, we just might have a say-so in how we interact with the environment.